Hey everyone, it's Michael here with GoodyReader.com and today I'm going to give you uh, an overview of the Google Play Audiobooks app. So we are using an Android tablet and Google just got into audiobooks like a week ago. And a lot of people are unaware of this. It launched like in dozens of different countries and audiobooks are both purchased and listened to uh, in the Google Play Books app, but it also works with Google Voice Assistant as well as Android Auto. So a lot of people are receiving updates uh, for their Android Auto where they could actually now access audiobooks in their motor car. And uh, so when you're commuting, when you're on road trips and things like that, you can actually now listen to audiobooks which is pretty cool so with audiobooks whenever you download things they appear here in the library and now you notice that next to ebooks is an audiobook feature and you get 50% off of your first audiobook I don't want deals I want to just pay full price on everything so you see here oh, let's just take a look Recommended audiobooks for you. Those are based on what is in your library and what you have browsed. You have top selling audiobooks. Now you notice that there's audiobooks here from major publishers. Uh, uh, Harper Audio, Hachette Audio, Penguin Random House. Pretty well everybody is participating in this. Uh, soon they will have uh, audiobooks by indie authors. I saw an email from Findaway Voices, which is a self publishing solution for audiobooks. So, indie authors will be able to submit their ebooks into Google uh, Play Books pretty shortly. So, yeah, I mean, latest Michael Crichton. Actually, I read Dragon's Teeth. It's actually a really good book. Surprisingly, I don't really like a lot of Michael Crichton books either, but I find uh, Dragon's Teeth was very interesting. So. It's sort of like set, you know, during like the, the gold rush, but people, it's like rival dinosaur bone hunters, which is pretty cool. You can kind of get an overview of like what the book is about, uh, who the publisher and everything like that is. Kind of X out of that. Uh, you could play the sample so you can get a sense of who the narrator is. So you can purchase it. Uh, it's also available as an ebook. You can click on similar and get an overview here of other similar titles. Now, when you click on similar titles, you're automatically diverted to the audiobook because that's what you are browsing. I like that feature. Very cool. Let's take a look at the audiobook player. So as you can see here, it shows the cover art. Um, you know. You can scroll ahead. You can skip ahead 30 seconds in either direction. You could sleep time it. And this is pretty consistent across most audiobook players. End of chapter, 15, 30, 60 minutes. So that's useful if you're going to bed and you listen to audiobooks. That's usually what I do. I listen to either podcasts or audiobooks before I go to bed. You can click about this book. Get a sense of who the author is similar titles, uh, etc. Uh, you can click here and kind of get how much is left in the chapter. As you can see that this isn't really kind of broken up into a ton of different chapters. If you click here, you can't get like a, a chapter by chapter. Like I can't skip to like chapter two or chapter three. It just remembers where I go. Playback speed, one times default. You can go all the way to like two times speed, which sounds like a bit like a chipmunk. So, uh, you know, the Google Play Audiobooks app, I, I believe it probably needs like a little bit of work. Um, 
as you notice I, I kept on having to click back or click back here and do this and stuff like that it's not super polished uh, Kobo audiobook player is pretty polished in the way that you navigate around uh, audible is the same way as well uh, Google Play audiobooks I feel is a little bit clunky um, in terms of you know shopping is pretty intuitive but when it comes to like your library and stuff like that and like you know it's not as intuitive as I would like so hopefully they do refine it Google is bullish on audiobooks it's a multi-billion dollar type in industry uh, not in North America and in Europe it's the fastest growing segment in publishing um, we write numerous reports yearly reports that look at audiobook trends in the industry we talk with publishers we talk with retailers we talk with libraries we talk with uh, e like subscription uh, based services we talk with everybody and kind of get a sense of what's happening now and where the audiobook industry is going so if you want to learn more about that there'll be uh, a link in the description of this YouTube video where you can learn more about the audiobook industry but for Google uh, Play Books and the audiobook system um, you've heard my thoughts let's hear yours drop a comment below forget to be my name is Michael and everybody take care